Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. I release content every day. Today we're playing Fortification Tower Defense. I like this game a lot. I've made some other videos on it. Um, the graphics leave something to be desired, but uh, personally I can really see past that and um, see it's it's good gameplay. It's really good. I think it's a well-designed game, especially for being, looks like it's less than three bucks on Steam. Pretty cool, but let's go in here and let's do single player and we're going to try something here. So... Um, this is a seed that I, I already identified. It's a verified seed. Other people have completed it. This guy, Gruner Germain. Um, he's he's at the top of the leaderboards for most of these, and uh, we're going to try to beat him. So he's at 1383. That's a lot. That's a lot of kills. And so the way this game works, basically, was well, tower defense. Let's get let's get it started first. So we set, we set up here. Just find a big... This is the way I do it, or what I've found success with. Just find a big open space so that you can make a huge maze with as many as many mini guns in one place as possible. The reason is, um, mini guns they're like they're good. They do a lot of damage. Their weakness is that um, they they have a slow rotate speed, and they they really do. It is it is quite a weakness. But if you can have enough of them centralized in one place like this. Um, aiming in one direction, they can usually kill things, they, they can generally kill things fast enough to where they don't have to rotate very often, which means that you're maximizing their fire. But this, this is my only complaint about this game, is the, the, <laughs> oh my god, there's no fast forward button. Like, in most tower defense games, you have a fast forward thing, and to me, it's like, well, maybe this person hasn't played a lot of tower defense games, the developer, I don't know, but... It's frustrating because this part right here takes a long time. And so the way this game works, which I, I like, it's it's unique um, for tower defense games. I've never seen it before. Is you do basically like 10-minute 10, 10 sets, kind of. So you, these guys are all coming in. They get shot up by turrets and stuff, whatever, right? But um, then this, this timer goes down. It ticks down to zero from 10. During your last 60 seconds um, of your timer, you have the the chance to leave. And so we have this. This is like our home base. There's a rocket inside the mountain, and then it's like an escape rocket. So um, when every 10 minutes, then you can escape, basically. So if you choose not to escape after the end of 10 minutes, then you're committing yourself to another 10 minutes if you want to take the, like, the Nero data, which is basically like XP points. You use that uh, XP points is um, redundant. It's just the XP. You take that with you, and you can use that as kind of like an in-game currency to research things. But that's how it works. Uh, this part is like super it's super boring to watch, I'm sure, because I know it's super boring to play. Um, there's no fast-forward button. I just... <laughs> yeah, I can't believe it. It'll be demonstrated more more abundantly later on once we get more miniguns. But for now, you can kind of see... I'm, I'm putting all my eggs in one basket, like just keeping all the miniguns tight together in like one area so that way they're all facing the same way and it kind of like negates that weakness of, of the slow rotation speed because they don't have to rotate. And so we're also going to see right here, you can see in the upper left, so this there should be a zero right in front of the, the single digit seconds, but um, so once this counts down and it's under a minute, we get this button that shows up. And you can see right there, escape to Martian base and take your collected neuro data with you. You can stay and try to collect more neuro data, but you will only be able to fly away when Mars is close to Earth again. So you kind of get that. But um, yeah, it's just a slow, slow process. Like this, it's kind of a deal breaker, really. Like, um, well, I guess like I, I like the game. I think it's really good gameplay. There's no fast forward button though. It drives me nuts. Um, there, there really should be, I think, to appeal to a wider audience where people aren't going to give it negative reviews. I I think um, you should definitely, this is to the developer, definitely include a fast-forward button from now on. But um, also, here's just a demonstration of camera controls. Really cool. This is like more freedom of camera movement than you get like in RTS games. Uh, really cool. I like I like that aspect a lot. We can even like go below grade here. You can see all the all the happenings on. We're approaching our uh, <laughs> our our second chance at leaving. We're not going to. I just uh, the the music <laughs> in this game is just something else. There's a lot of variety. Um, some of it's like intense or you know kind of. It's not intense, but it's like, um, 
overbearing? I don't know what the word is for it, but it is there. It has a presence. Maybe that's the word for it. But you can see over here, um, I built, like, another kind of maze out here. And I was going to, like, I was going to terraform all this and get rid of it, which we can do. But you can see right here, it costs 60 to get rid of one of these brown ones. It's too expensive. So I, that's one thing about the game, like, maybe criticism. It's not, like, a complaint. But I think terraforming is too expensive for, for what it does. It's not worth the cost. But... Yeah, it's still just, why isn't there a fast-forward button? Like, the persistent question always in the back of my mind um, at the early stages when I play this game. I still love it. I mean, like, yeah, <laughs> that's all I have to say. Maybe love is a strong word. <laughs> I like the game. It's good. I, I like it. I don't, I guess I don't love it. Um, and not in a bad way, it's just, uh, you know, I don't want to exaggerate my feelings toward the game. But one thing about this game is that um, a, a, a limiting constraint is, or like the limiting factor, I think, is it's obviously resources coming in, right? But um, the other one is is upgrade times. It takes a long time to upgrade stuff. I mean, no, let me backtrack. Upgrades happen immediately, but then like there's there's a timer until you can apply the next upgrade. And so right here you can see... It counts down. It takes a few minutes. And let's upgrade these ones. Just so you can get an idea, like a look at the clock. So it's counting down. Here's some feedback for the developer. Um, you should even... Let's see. Well, when we don't have enough resources to upgrade something, then this this thing is, is grayed out. All these buttons are grayed out all the way, so you can't see the timer. I wish that you could. That, that timer should be visible all the time, even if you don't have the resources to upgrade. But you can see right here, the, this, is, this is the strategy, basically. You put a bunch of these Gatling, Gatling guns in one place, so that way they can destroy things quickly enough that they don't have to rotate too much. Also, you can see I'm not putting them here in the center, because then they have to, they have to track... It's too hard for them to track effectively, and so I put them all on the outskirts so that way um, they don't have to move as much in order to aim at the same target as the target moves laterally across their field of fire. And yeah, you know what? I'm making a strategy <laughs> video for a game that probably no one will ever play who's watching this video, and I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Please hold. We have incoming. This is what I'm worried about. All these, like, magenta-colored crabs, these, they're pretty tough. And then, um, these are the hard ones. And so, our defenses, as we upgrade them, you can see that they change color. The darker they are, the more deadly they are, the more upgrades they have applied. And so, that's, that also, that, that whole, like, color mechanic, um, is true for the enemies. So, the, the they're color-coded, kind of, right? So, you can see this one is, like, a, it's, it's brown. Even though it's lighter colored, um, it, it's, this one will get past all of our defenses, and it'll probably damage... The main rocket up here. Like the, the home base. But you can see I'm kind of behind on um, spending resources. So let's get on that. Oh, we're out. We're out of resources. Okay. And you can see all these black marks. Um, the, the Gatling guns aren't the most accurate weapon, but when you have this many rounds being fired, it doesn't really matter, right? That's that's a Gatling gun in a nutshell. We'll just sit here for a second. So the, the purple crabs, like I, I was kind of worried about, but now I'm not. <laughs> they're, they're getting mowed down. Let's do speed. Let's I, I try to keep speed and damage... I always upgrade damage first, but I try to keep speed and damage um, kind of like on par with each other. Well, so you can, there, there's a pretty good um, demonstration of the, the slow rotate speed. So that guy got all the way around here, and uh, the Gatling gun was tracking okay. And then when it went to rotate back around to these incoming enemies, watch this. See how slow it is? So you have, what, uh, I don't know, three seconds there of not firing any rounds. And like in a, in a tower defense game, um, that... You know, it adds up. We need more. We need more. And we'll we'll start putting more over here, too. Even these, even though these ones aren't really getting used right now, they will in a few minutes. 
So we just put this one down. Let's get the damage going on it. And that's, again, that's a limiting, that's a limiting factor in this game is, um, besides resources, it's the upgrade times. Here comes the moment for a decision here. So, I mean, like, I'm, I'm literally just making this video to kind of, like, show my strategy for this game that probably no one will ever play. And then also, um... We're trying to get on the leaderboard, right? Like in first place and beat beat the Grunin Gaunin guy. I, I don't know how to say that name. I don't remember it at this point. But I think would they have 1,400 or something? We're not even close. But if we if we keep going here, then we're committed to another 10 minutes. I'm not sure what we can do, but we're gonna. I'm feeling greedy right now. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it out because um, not only do we have these defenses going pretty strongly here, we also have this other bank that's like really well upgraded so i think we're just going to keep going here and um gosh hope for the best even though uh i'm not really a, a hoper or a dreamer <laughs> we're gonna try it out tick talk tick 10 minutes i said that the these crabs would get past our defenses it's not i was wrong i'm kind of surprised actually i'm very surprised This, this one. This is the one that I was talking about, but it seems like they're kind of like changing color as they take damage. I'm not sure if that's an intended uh, effect in the game or if it's just happening or if it's like to animate their their death throws as they <laughs> get put down by 100,000 rounds from Gatling guns. I have no idea. But everything's going pretty strongly here still. Here's one of those brown or beige or tan, whatever crabs. I think these defenses will take it apart, no problem, though. I'm trying to keep everything upgraded as we go. Um, again, that's like, it's, you want to like set, you want to set the timer or start the timer on um, turrets as soon as possible. Because, you know, like then it's just, again, it's a limiting factor of the game as part of the strategy is that you just want to keep, keep upgrading and keep, um, I guess, if you envision time as a resource in this game, then like, and you applied it to that timer, then that's part of like maximizing your resources or spending them. We're starting to get a little bit overwhelmed here at, at this, at this like, whatever you want to call this is outpost or like the defense position. And it's just, um, just sheer numbers. Like these, these guys aren't that tough for these defenses, but there's just so many of them. Uh, but luckily we have a whole bank or outpost or whatever over here that's doing I mean it's doing enough work as they come in slowly that um, nothing's gotten by yet you can see in the bottom right um, so this is like the missile silo it's kind of just representative of this thing up here and these columns on the side like this frame will start turning red as we take damage and the camera gets really like wonky once there's a lot of enemies on the map it's it really sensitive Just keep these keep these timers counting down. This guy nope, not does did not get past. They're starting to though. That's okay. We have three minutes and twenty seconds. So I'm not I'm not sure. We'll see how this goes. Put down some more defenses back here. Come over here. Um, make sure that everything's being upgraded. So once they get to this color, like I'm pretty happy with that. After that, the the um, the upgrades are really expensive. They're like 200 something, and I could just put down another another turret for that. This guy's probably gonna get past. And they climb up stairs really quickly or the ramps, and so. Yep, there he goes. That'll be the. Oh no, that's the second damage. We just took some when the screen shook. But here, here are the brown crabs. That's what I was talking about before. They're tanky. One thing I didn't go over is that, or talk about, was that we can upgrade rotate speed, but... Man, that's just, it's a lot of resources, and like, that's kind of the, the strategy here, is that we, we mitigate the rotate speed in other ways besides just... Um, upgrading the the rotate speed. <laughs> so here we go. This is, I think we're going to get this. 
We've got a minute left. I'm just going to let it sit here and try to maximize our kills. So you can see we have 24... Well, it's right here. And we're just going to let it sit here. We're in a pretty comfortable position for this remaining, like, 40 seconds. We can let it sit here and get as many kills as we can. And we have 570. I'm kind of dropping the ball on upgrading at this point because it's like, well, I, th I think... I forget exactly how many kills that guy had on the leaderboard, but... Um, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure we're, we're past it by a big margin. And so I'm okay with... Not upgrading everything, although that's what I'm doing as we speak. We have uh, about 10 seconds, 12 seconds. Just let it keep going. Let it keep going. Get as many kills as possible. And that's it. So we take all the... Like the... The prize for winning is that we take all the Nero data with us, or like the XP, that's all it is, just the XP. And so, we get back to the main base, or to the home base, whatever, and then we can research things. Um, I was surprised at, at how quickly I researched everything that was there. And so, like, we got 17,700 Nero data, but um, it's it's not going to matter. Yeah, so we did pretty good there, 2666. Six, six. That's it for this one. This game is called Fortification Tower Defense. It's like $2.50. If you like tower defense games or kind of like more casual games where it doesn't like require your your <laughs> all of your attention and it's not like twitchy play at all, then you should check this one out. It's less than 3 bucks on Steam. Thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe or release content every day. We'll see you in the next one.